let's face it, parenting is hard. So it's no surprise that researchers have identified a syndrome known as parental burnout. But what is it? What causes it? How can I treat it? Answers to these questions and more coming up next. Hi, I'm Kim Feeney with Butterfly Beginnings Counseling and welcome to my channel. I have 10 years of experience as a play therapist and working with children and families to lead healthier emotional lives. If this is an area you and your family would like some help in, subscribe and hit the bell for weekly notifications. The problem with parental burnout is that most people think it's just a normal part of parenting. What makes it worse is that burnt out parents feel ashamed or guilty for being tired. Sometimes parents are so stuck in it, living day to day in survival mode, that recognizing the signs and symptoms of burnout can be challenging. Parental burnout comes with a set of specific symptoms. One of the earliest signs of burnout is extreme physical and mental exhaustion. In addition, other signs of burnout in parents include emotional detachment from partners, friends, and even children. Extreme irritability and frustration run high. Parents will develop feelings of inadequacy or loss of a sense of accomplishment related to their parenting. Brain fog, including confusion and forgetfulness, is very common. Then health issues come into play, such as poor sleep and increased stress levels, as well as mental health concerns, such as an increase in addictive behaviors and a higher risk of depression and anxiety, possibly even causing suicidal ideations. All of these symptoms can combine to form a high risk of neglectful and violent behavior towards children. There are three levels of parental burnout. Mild burnout is classified as a parent who is experiencing just a typical situation. Perhaps a temporarily sick child or a partner who is traveling, they may show signs of mild burnout. Our middle level is moderate burnout, which would be a parent perhaps due to prolonged sleep deprivation or other stressors like finances, lack of childcare, and limited opportunities for self-care would experience moderate burnout symptoms. Finally, severe burnout. A parent with long-term exhaustion, stress, lack of physical, emotional, and logistical supports, or physical and mental health complications. The root cause of parental burnout is an imbalance between the demands of parenting and the rewards. The concept of parental burnout was introduced into scientific research more than 30 years ago. This was the concept that parenting both gives energy and consumes energy. To avoid parental burnout, the key is to balance the energy-consuming aspects of caregiving with attitudes and experiences that boost energy. For example, stress-increasing factors are having a child with physical or mental health challenges, feeling you need to be the perfect parent at all times, having a lack of support from your co-parent, financial concerns, and not enough support from outside family, such as childcare and overscheduled kids. Factors that are going to decrease stress include parental self-compassion, high emotional intelligence, prioritizing downtime for you and your children, positive co-parenting experiences, and external support from family and friends. Drop me a comment and let me know what coping skills you use to decrease stress related to parenting. Unfortunately, I see a lot of burnout in the parents of the kids I work with. The mom who cries herself to sleep at night because she is so overwhelmed by her child's poor behaviors, or the dad who hasn't slept in three days because he's worried his child will harm him themselves. Some strategies for counteracting parental burnout are number one, to ask for help. It might be as simple as setting up a ride sharing for after school activities or hiring a babysitter once a month for a date night with your partner. Know that you are not alone. Research shows parental burnout is common. Release the shame and guilt associated with parental burnout because it's not helping. Letting go of self-blaming will free up the emotional energy that can be used to shift what's not working in your lives. Practice self-compassion. Self-compassion involves a constant attitude of acceptance and kindness towards ourselves. Taking this approach can help parents avoid the trap of being the perfect parent. Consider joining a support group. In support groups, parents can talk to others who understand the challenges 
emotions, and the practicalities of what they're dealing with every day. If you're looking for a place with parents of similar experiences, consider joining our Facebook group for calm, empathetic, supportive parents and caregivers using the link below in the description. Inside the group, you'll find parents that you can reach out to who have been in your shoes, plus a direct line of access to me and my 10 years of experience as a mental health professional. Communication is also key in preventing parental burnout. Communicate your feelings. If you're feeling burned out, one of the first things you should do is communicate those feelings with your partner. And then listen to your body. If it's telling you to rest, prioritize sleep and rest. Our bodies are wonderful at letting us know what we need. Allow your nervous system to regulate and help to get you back into a balanced state. And if you feel you cannot make progress on your own, consider seeking professional help. I do refer a lot of parents to outside therapy for help in combating parental burnout. Parental burnout is real and can be treated and managed when parents are honest about their experiences. Don't forget to join our Facebook group for calm, empathetic, supportive parents and caregivers with the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with a friend. On the screen are some other videos you may also enjoy. Thank you for watching, and wherever you are in your day, hug your child and make it a great one.